welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these cheesy ranch bacon potatoes in the pressure cooker. This only takes four ingredients. It's super simple to put together. You're gonna to need two and a half pounds of potatoes diced up. You can take the skin off or leave it on. I like the skin on. You're gonna need some shredded cheddar cheese or any cheese that you like really. Some ranch seasoning, one packet. I have the creamy dill, the dips packet, but it's gonna work just fine. And then you're going to need some bacon bits. Now you could use homemade bacon bits or store-bought like I have. I will have the measurements and the directions written out in the description box for you. And then one cup of water or broth to go in the pot. That is all of our ingredients. Now let me show you how we put it in our pressure cooker and get it ready to go. Before I start putting all of my ingredients in, I did wanna say that I am going to be using the pressure cooker function and then also the air crisp function of my pressure cooker. I have the Ninja Foodie and um, I'm pretty sure that there are other brands that make this where you can do multiple things in one appliance. So that is what I'm going to be doing. You could only pressure cook this if you want, but I like to have them crisp up a little at the end. So that I wanted to mention that before I got started. So first we are going to layer down some of our potatoes. And then you just want to open up your seasoning packet and we're just gonna sprinkle these, this on top. You don't sprinkle all of it right now, just a little bit and then we're going to sprinkle on some cheese. And some of our bacon bits. And then we will just repeat that process. On my last layer, I am just going to sprinkle on the seasoning and then I will save the rest of my cheese and bacon bits for at the end when we air crisp it so that it gets nice and bubbly and the bacon gets crispy on top. Okay, and then I'm just going to add in a cup of water, just kind of on the side, just so that I'm not messing up everything that I just did. And this is just so that it can properly pressure cook. You have to have some sort of liquid in there. So there we have it. Now I'm going to put the top on. And make sure that I am on seal. I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna hit pressure. And we want high pressure. And we're going to set it for seven minutes and hit start. And it's gonna take some time to build up the pressure and then it'll cook for seven minutes. And once it beeps, we will go ahead and do a quick release, which means we'll go ahead and just release all of that pressure and we'll open it up and see what they look like. Okay, our timer went off and now we are going to Release all the pressure. If this makes you nervous, it's okay. It made me nervous too for a long time. I just take a wooden spoon and I'm trying to take a wooden spoon and I just move it. And now we'll just let the pressure release and we'll open it when all of the pressure is gone and our safety valve goes down. I'm gonna check and make sure that they are fork tender and they are. 
They smell really good and they're nice and fork tender, which is perfect. Now I am just going to sprinkle on the rest of my cheese. And I actually have a little bit of seasoning left, so I will go ahead and add that in too. And the rest of the bacon bits. For the air crisp function on my Ninja Foodie, I just put this lid down and then you hit air crisp. And you can set the temperature. Um, I'm just gonna do it at 375. And we'll keep it on 20 minutes, but we're gonna continuously check it just to make sure that it's not getting overdone. So we will check back here in a few minutes and see what it looks like. It's been about six and a half minutes and they are right where I want them. The tops look crispy. The cheese is all melted and kind of crisping up and the bacon it looks delicious. So I'm gonna plate it up and show you what they look like. Here are the finished potatoes. They might not look amazing, but they taste amazing, let me tell you. And it was super quick and easy to throw together. I hope that you give this recipe a try. If you do, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope that you subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.